Well, good morning, Internet. This is Steve. So, uh, yesterday's uh, experiment, we're doing morning work versus evening work to see which one we like. And uh, I'm not much of a morning person, but this is so much nicer than the heat. Uh, the guys are already jumped in, started working. Uh, I've got, unfortunately, regular work to do. I've got to pay my bills and feed my face, which is why this is taking so long. I have a, I have a day job that's not building, right? Like, <laughs> this is my off-grid uh, last house that I'm building for retirement. But I'm still working a uh, full eight hours plus. And uh, so then I, after that, then I go to work on the construction project. So it's nice to have men already, already doing what I, I would be doing. We really got a lot done. I'm going to put it on stop motion here and uh, let it, let it run uh, while the guys cut. Let's see how far they get. Surprisingly, only a few of these posts are down, so uh, I'm going to go ahead. I found some old posts. I'm going to redeem any missing ones. Originally, I was thinking of bringing in T-posts and putting them in here, but visually, this is all old, old-timey. But looky here, you know, I fixed this post already. That wood is still good. Four inches around, you know. You stick another one in over here. Those of you who watch the channel will know that I hurt myself wearing flip-flops doing this kind of work. Here I am wearing flip-flops doing this kind of work. Some things don't change. This looks like the best place for this. I hit the stump, I'll move it. All right. Hey, who stole my battery? <laughs> oh, I stole my battery. Like where that post was. Let's try it 
try it here. Sugar Man, I, I lost, lost a wallet, wallet on vacation filled with a thousand dollars cash. I was running with the boys up the dunes at Warren uh, National Park uh -huh. there, uh, Warren Dunes, and uh, I don't think anybody stole it. I think it hit the sand and immediately disappeared. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, I had all my travel cards. Unfortunately, when we, you know, when you're driving a long ways, I asked uh, Leah for her card to get gas once for whatever reason. So I had lost her card. But, you know, American Express will overnight you your uh, card to oh, wow. a hotel room. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're That's really good. high quality. So, man, I am hitting, like, roots roots right here. <laughs> You hear it? Yeah. Like everywhere I do it, and I hit a root there. So this guy here has put down something. Probably, yeah. All right, well, maybe I'll put the same ship post back in, huh? Since I can't put it in very deep. Yeah. Same one. Yeah, well, maybe that's what they did when they first did it. <laughs> you know what? Well, that's far enough. That be exactly right. <laughs> You're ex exactly right. As long as it's sturdy enough Apparently, to handle it. it's too weak as a kitten. Well, this is easily a 110, 150-year-old farm somewhere in that ballpark. Getting it all around. I can't believe people did this once upon a time with mules. But uh, I'm going to try to find an old post to put in with these old posts just to keep the harmony of it. Again, the cattle are reasonably well-trained, so it's not like they're going to be... You know, trying to run four, four strands of barbed wire. I'm going to put a little garden gate there. Because uh, if you walk through here and head that way, it's the back of my gardens. Uh, so I, I like to be able to get out from a fence, so I'm going to put a few holes in it. Still got a few things that will scrape my head. I'm going to spend a minute or two and cut those back. Especially these oaks. If I catch my headache rack on these oaks, it'll flip my trailer. Or my tractor, rather, over on top of me. Moving on with clearing this fence row, uh, it's Franz and uh, Scott who got the majority of this work done. So I'm just swooping in, stealing the glory, but I'll keep running it all the way to the end and we're gonna cut across and barricade the paddock and that way the construction site will be safe and sound while I move forward with the foundation one. Well, you know, an old gate like this, when you find it in a scrap, is just ugly and useless. And I don't know, somebody threw mud all over it and paint. But you hang it on, a, you know, an old fence. Blends right in. Looks cute, even. I would say it looks cute. Let me go ahead and chop that stump out of there and dig a hole and make a little gate right there. This here antique axe, you'll see that the edges are beveled that way, and that's for several different reasons. You can see if I swing, no matter how I swing, that it's a flat hit, so I'm getting maximum impact uh, from the axe there on the edge. Also, if it does get stuck, uh, it's easier to rock it out, 
and without the tips you're more than likely not going to get stuck it's a better edge and it's easier to use our ancestors knew what they're doing they swung axes all day long so if you find one of these old antique axes just put it back to work so what it was meant to do don't assume that today's technology is better especially when it's antique hand tools where men had to work all day long in there you know I got a couple that are right near the fence oh, they're harder to get oops all right I finally caught the fence Pulling stumps is always a bit more work than you'd think. <laughs> it's really hard to pull them. Well, I'm hoping I don't hit a stump. thing if I get more rain down here I have good grass and every shovel pool I take out ten more pour in from the side All right. not deep enough but I'm calling it a day Well, there you go. A couple of cowboys, three cowboys out riding fences, fixing the rails, right? So that was all down. That didn't even exist, but rotate. Now I'm just going to walk these posts and give them all a shake. 
So I think this fence has been out here 50 years, more or less neglected. So a <clears throat> lot of briar, a lot of brush. Scott and Franz did a good job pulling that out. I've already found all of the loose ones that I could in this section and went in and put in new posts. Right here, that's a new post. There's the old post. Still has the barbed wire put to it. But you see, even though they look bad, that's, uh, you know, four or five inches of brand new cedar just sitting there. Just waiting for me to nail a fence to it. So I decided not to do a uh, T-post. Figured it would uh, detract from it since I thought the fence was in worse shape than it was. But uh, all, oh, we only found two bad posts so far, and I went ahead and found old posts that were cut and set aside and used those so let me rotate here so that old log right there that had fallen across the fence and pulled it down of course the cattle then would just come into my property and just wreck my house but that's been there a while you see it's all termite add up and whatnot so <clears throat> this is a reusing of an old old post that snapped off probably that branch when it hit it but it's a little short, but the hole, I kept hitting uh, roots, so. Got another old post still to use right here. I told the guys any time they found a, a tree that's in the tree line to just assume I'll end up nailing fence to it. So, indeed, that's what I'll do. All looks pretty good. Got some old oak in there, you know, you see that, you think, oh, that's junk. I, you don't know until I get it on the sawmill and saw it. So stuff like that I'll take a look at and pick up and see if I can plant, cut some boards out of it. Most of the fence is up, as you can see, it's just loose up. It needs to be restretched lightly. Just or not to where you go bring, but where you just get a man, just pulling a little tight. That's all we need to do. I can use a hammer to pull it tight in a few spots, just twisting it around. Right here is where I put the gate. I really like that. It'll work out real nice. So next few days, I'll get the barbed wire in there. I might put a little post in here just to, between those just so you could see it. That's a living tree there. I'm just going to leave it as, and that's what I'm going to put my, my gate hinges in. Back in there, you can't really see it. That's the beginning of the back end of my house. There'll be a formal garden in there, a, a Mexican uh, hacienda-style garden. All right, this looks really good. Well, my videos are all, they're more of a video journal is what they are, of me doing things and uh, just recording what I'm doing. So I remember, uh, I thought I'd be done in, with this thing in three years. I'm coming up on three years and I'm a little more than a third done, not quite half. There's one that's no good. All right. Well, that one's rotted off at the ground. See, it's just all wobbly. So what I'll do is just find one of these limbs that fell down and just mark it and then I'll come back in the morning when it's not a million degrees and dig it out yep see that one's solid boy I can't shake that at all of course that's a living tree that we just cut today so you see us complaining about green briaring oh that's that's pretty well no it's not when you take a look at the, the leaves itself if that'll focus they have little razor jaggedy edges on it and then all of these grow in a, in, a, in a cluster, and they get bigger and thicker and meaner. And uh, you see all them thorns in there. You can't, you can't touch that without gloves, and it will just go right through your leather, leather glove. Mean. This was a big bit of brush that the boys cleared out today. This was all overgrown. And that's all briar there, too, but that's not green briar. It's a different kind of briar. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, simple, slow videos today. I'm feeling a little under the weather. All of this 
work in the sun and the mesquite and the cedar, I think I got a little cedar fever. So I do appreciate you hanging with me this long. Uh, like, subscribe, follow me along. Uh, all done with old fence, and I probably saved, I'm going to guess, $3,000. Uh, it would have been a five-strand barbed wire. Each one of these posts is $28. Probably a 100 post uh, long here. So what is that? $2,800 just in posts. Re repurposing this. So don't necessarily throw out the old stuff just because it's got a little weather on it. These are still four and five inch posts. They're still better posts than I could buy nowadays. They have proven the test of time. So uh, anyway, with that little offset of that savings, I was able to hire some cowboys to come and, and work out here. I appreciate Scott and Franz. They'll be out in more videos too. Like, subscribe, follow me. Bye.